Yes. Thomas seen as a peeping Tom. Oh my God! I really like Kitty Cat or Crazy Cat Lady is good. Those could be nicknames. Peeping Thomasina. <laughs> but Peeping Thomasina, that's just not my favorite. The peeping Tom thing I thought was funny that you said that. Kathy has been away, so I filled her in uh -huh. and I explained the whole thing about Tahoe. Yeah. Okay. I was just bringing in the f***ing coat, man. Yeah. You know, like, not peeping Tom. Like, what the hell? The word violated gave the implication that it was sexual. Like, it really did. Like, it felt like that. Look, I was naked and I felt uncomfortable, period. But right. I didn't make it sexual. I've been in a public bathroom going pee and someone walked in and I didn't feel violated. I'm sure it wasn't fun for them either, okay? There are so many other words that Crystal could have used. Embarrassed, awkward, even say rude that she walked in. But violated? If you're using that word when you don't have clothes on, it means something totally different. Was it not the conversation when you heard that story? I did feel that way. The word violation actually means not respecting personal space. Well, and it also means violation of privacy. Correct. Violation means to abuse your privacy. A disrespect no, of boundaries. Period. Google it. Fail to respect someone's privacy or rights. I don't hear the word sexual at all. I didn't do that, but okay. I felt that way. That's all. I did not feel violated at all when Kathy walked in on me. Well, I was on the phone, half naked. Hi, girl. Y'all, come on. I'm naked. I, I just wanted to check on y'all. I don't have any clothes on. Seems to me like that's just kind of normal on a girl trip. So I don't know. Maybe Crystal doesn't have real girlfriends. To me, violation of privacy has to be intentional. Her coming in not knowing that you're naked can't be a violation. Oh, exactly. That's the truth. Sutton is a good Southern girl, and she's very thoughtful, very generous. She didn't really mean anything harmful. We all know how words can get twisted, and something that's small becomes much bigger and has now everyone involved. Violation's a little strong. It's not. Violation is strong. It's not. Violation is a big word. Look it up. It's not. Oh, my God. We're talking about such insignificant things. Let's just bury the hatchet so the group can move on. For me, if you walked in my room, I would be like, woohoo! But here's right? the deal. My reaction would be, oh my god, I'm sorry, close the door. Right. That did not happen. Crystal, are you up? It was walking in, and then you said, oh, I don't know what you're doing over there. I don't know what's going on in here, but I'm going to bring you your coat. I was just putting my foot on. Uh-huh. You know what? That, that was not a, here's that was the thing, not a crystal, and I need to defend myself for two seconds. I wanted to talk. I knocked. Your light was on, you were talking. I thought I heard you say, come in. I didn't say anything creepy. It I don't want to so talk stupid. about it anymore. But the reality little, see, is what it see, is. See, now I'm getting angry. The reality is and what it is. And this is what you do not want to happen. You do not want me getting angry. The reality see, is what it see, is. See, now I'm getting angry. The reality is and what And this is, is what you do not want to happen. You do not want me getting angry. You Sutton. don't want me the getting reality angry. Is reality. But see, I'm not emotionally in a bad place. I'm not moving. I'm not sad. I'm getting angry. You moved a long time I'm ago. I'm getting. Stop blaming that. Oh my God. Who are you? I'm a. I moved two and a half weeks before I got to Tahoe. So I was very vulnerable, and I am sorry for that, and I've apologized for that, but I'm not going to sit here and let you make it look like I was some weirdo. That's not what happened, and you know it. You need to tell these people, all of these girls, that nothing weird happened, and this is she a did dumb I have been saying that. So then, then we are all going to agree on it, because this is about my reputation. Son, this is about no, 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 Let's get real. No, ma'am. Let's get real Not here. once you start coming after my personal reputation. Then just own that you said that to me. I didn't say it like, oh, I don't know what you're doing over there. Did I say it like that? Mr. Poppins. No. <laughs> Who's Mr. Poppins? I don't know. But Who is I'm... Mr. Poppins? I don't know. Uh, He's okay, somebody. Right. He's somebody that has <laughs> glasses. I think that's all I know. Who the hell is Mr. Poppins? Did Mary Poppins have a man and I don't? <laughs> now, that's messed up. But you I guys. didn't say it in a creepy way, like, oh, what are you doing? I didn't say it like that. I probably was like, I don't know, I'm just going to back out of that door. Point.
I'm just telling you guys what happened. She would never come into your room and do anything that was like it's not. You I don't even know you that down. much. I'm going to be clear about this. You need to. I shut did it not down. believe that she came in to do anything weird. Exactly. That's I, what I'm saying. And I've said that Say it again. to everyone. Right? No. The conversation is fair. A little bit different. Crystal's story's changed. When she first told me the story, it really was like Sutton set out to hurt or harm or make Crystal feel uncomfortable. She's like, butt naked. And then she continued in. And she's like, oh, what are you doing over there? And I'm like, so I told her, I'm like, it was really creepy. And I, I felt like I had no boundaries. Like, when you fucking stand over there and say, oh, what are you doing? You're fucking shaming me because I'm naked. It's creepy. Now, Crystal's saying that she doesn't think Sutton had any bad intentions. It's a different story. Girls, just listen. You were moving. Everybody's under a lot of pressure. Yes. Okay? Amen. Amen. And you are away for the first time in seven, eight months from your children and your husband. You had a lot going on. I mean, I know the night before the trip, I called Kyle and I'm like, what have I gotten myself into? Like, as excited as I was to go. I was scared, too. But I also have my sister there. Okay? I have Lisa there. I've met Erica several times. And my buddy over here, Thank my you. English girl. And I'm not English. Oh, I'm I from Connecticut, goddammit. And, and Dory, the British girl, yes. I'm not yes. English. My husband is English. She's from Connecticut. Whatever. 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 But mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that love and adore you, and I've never heard anything shady about you. Yeah, no. I mean, because I'm so normal. It's telephone. Well, it's a very dangerous game. It is. When it's about somebody's character. Totally. Words can get somebody really in trouble, and especially nowadays with the cancel culture and all that stuff, this is not the time to be throwing around strong words. I think Sutton has every right to be upset. I know that I'm a little off. But Why do you it's say that? Good. Why say you're well, off? Well, I have a gigantic bow on. Well, it's okay. I love it. But it's going to take me a minute to get over being told that I violated someone. That's a really strong word. Okay. It's always going to be rattling around in my brain. So you've got to stop saying that I violated you because I really. I'm not going to back down on that word. Sorry. There's nothing else to say about it. It's done. Yeah, I got to straighten my bow tie for that because no.